Okay, so today's topic is aortic thromboembolism, which is a bit of a mouthful, uh, but basically this is a condition that we see occasionally in cats, and it's a really devastating condition when they have it. Um, you don't actually get any warning this is going to happen with your cat, so it's a devastating thing, it's really upsetting, and it's very painful for the cat. But what we basically see with cats with these sort of aortic thromboembolisms, we, we call it a saddle thrombus, um, because it, it basically relates to the shape of what happens um, down at the base of the aorta. So the primary problem with, uh, with this condition is we actually have a bit of a heart condition, and that can be a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, uh, where the heart muscle is very, very thickened, it's abnormal, the contractions are abnormal, and that causes um, blood clots to form on the valves in the heart. What can happen with time is those blood clots can break off, they travel down the aorta, and because the aorta is quite, quite wide, the clot travels down the aorta quite well until it hits the point where it branches off to the femoral arteries and at that point it narrows quite a lot and the clot, clot can be, become lodged at that, at that point where it breaks off and what that does is it effectively cuts the blood supply to the back legs. So this is something which just happens kind of one heartbeat to the next basically. The cat will, will seem quite fine and then this clot forms and very quickly the cat develops quite severe pain um, and loses function in its back legs. So if you find, what, basically what we find happens is the cat will be collapsed. People give us a call saying, look, my cat seems very, very painful, can't walk on its back legs. And people are concerned it may have been hit by a car, it may have been in a fight. And those sort of conditions will actually look very similar. But when the cat comes into us, a couple of things we'll notice. One is the paws are very, very cold because it, they don't have a blood supply. The femoral pulse, which we can actually feel in the groin uh, region, is either weak or completely absent. And the heart, we may find that the heart rate is inappropriately high or low, or there may be a murmur there. And that really gives us some pretty solid clues. The only way to really confirm this is with an ultrasound. Um, so we can put an ultrasound onto the heart to see what the underlying heart condition can be. And also having a look down um, at the base of the aorta to see if we can see a clot in that region. Now, if this condition um, affects your cat, it's a devastating condition because although we may be able to manage your cat short term, the underlying heart condition is quite often severe and untreatable. But one of my main concerns with this condition is it's very, very painful for the cat. And so to have a cat go through a, a, a fairly lengthy period of, of pain, and we're talking about one to two weeks of, of painful treatment, uh, or a painful condition, the treatment itself isn't painful, but with such a poor outcome, this is something where we will often recommend euthanasia if, if, if the cats present with this. Um, I've tried a few times to, to treat these cases and it's pretty much always had a, a, a bad outcome and, and so generally I, I will recommend euthanasia for these cases unfortunately because that's really the kindest thing for the cat. Um, but yeah, certainly if your cat does ever come in or if you ever find your cat's not using its back end well, um, it still could be something that, that's quite treatable so it might be an injury or, or a wound. So certainly take it into your vet straight away but yeah, this is something that we'll, we'll check for and you'll notice that if the cat's ever dragging its back legs, we'll be checking how, how, what the blood supply to the back legs are and seeing if, if this is a possible cause.